Hello and welcome back to the Maya hand edit editing tutorial. In this episode we're going to continue on from our previous episode where we created a simple waving hand animation and make something a little bit more complicated. I'm also going to show you how to work with uh, more than one clip at once in the tracks editor. Now see right now um, we have uh, the hand waving clip enabled so if we drag back and forth in the timeline the hand is going to receive information from the uh, clip here. But uh, we, if we're going to create a second animation for the hand, first thing we're going to want to do is disable that clip so we have full control over all of the uh, animating attributes again. So in, order, in uh, this episode we're going to create a uh, grabbing animation. So we're going to do that by uh, just we're going to start here. We're going to start by selecting all our controls, just like we did before. Uh, so that, uh, and we're going to press the letter S key to create uh, a keyframe for every single one of those controls, and we get that out of the way. Uh, and you can see auto key is on here, so that whenever we uh, move the hand, it's going to automatically create keys in our graph editor. So uh, we start off with uh, the hand in neutral position, create our first frame. Let's bring that up to frame 30. And what we're going to do here is we're going to tilt the hand a little bit forward. And we're going to start bending those fingers. So if you remember when we were using set driven keys to uh, help us curl the fingers, well, for, because those attributes are now part of the tracks editor, we can now. Uh, uh, just curl those, and uh, yeah, we can just uh, set those the way we would any other attribute. Bring that down, and let's uh, let's curl the thumb in a little bit. I also added a uh, thumb curl control down here. Okay, let's um, take that a little bit. That looks good. So let's uh, drag that back. So that's a good starting for grab animation. So let's bring that up here to maybe frame 60. So at this point, the, the hand is going to lift up from the ground a little bit. And it's going to tilt a little bit forward. And maybe that's going to rotate up a little bit. And. Okay. Actually, is that is that good or is that not enough? Let's actually move that up a little bit more. And rotate it a little bit more. And pull that up. Actually, yeah, let's grab those and. Okay, and yeah, let, let's not make this too complicated. And let's uh, grasp the fingers. Curl up the fingers a little bit more. Okay, and keep on going, and let's have that come up more completely. Maybe even start turning down like that. Curl up those fingers even more. Yeah, that's looking good. Maybe sort of uh, angle those in. This is all a matter of personal preference. Uh, there's no right or perfectly right way or perfectly wrong way to grasp a hand. Just something that looks reasonable. Okay, and let's actually uh, add a couple more frames of animation here. Uh, just. Oops, 
we have a little bit extra room to work with. So, so far we are going from a 0 all the way up to frame 100. And let's maybe pull that hand back a little bit. And maybe tuck that down a little bit. So it almost looks like we're grabbing something now. And go all the way up to 150 just to start with. Bring that back a little bit more. Maybe. This is all personal preference. This is this is the art side of what we're doing as opposed to the technical side. Just make something that looks nice. Okay, and let's plus press play here. Okay, well you can play around with that until it's uh, something that you like. Might want to make it a little bit faster by uh, pressing those keys. Actually, let's do that. Let's shift select the whole thing and maybe drag that in so the whole thing happens in 120 frames rather than the full thing. That looks a little bit better. So, um, yeah, you can uh, just keep playing with this until you have an animation that you're happy with. Uh, but what we're going to do with the Tracks Editor is we uh, created a waving animation on our previous frame. And we're gonna, going to create a uh, new clip over there. We're going to call this Grab. And Create Clip. And now uh, you see all our uh, timeline information has disappeared. It's disappeared from up here too. But if we play it, we still we are still receiving data and we're receiving data from uh, our clip up here on the timeline and we can actually move that around so that that's on frame number one and if we want to switch back to waving animation we can disable that clip enable that clip and now we're back to waving And uh, the reason for that pause here is because that ends at frame 100. We uh, make that 100 frames long there. And that's nice and smooth. And if we want to go back to uh, grabbing, enable that clip. Put that up to 120. And we have our grab animation back. Okay, one last thing is if you ever want to go back in and re-edit those keys again, all you have to do is uh, click on your clip, go down to activate keys, and you notice all those keys are now back in your timeline. So you can now uh, edit that to your heart's content and uh, make whatever changes you want. And um, when you're done, just uh, right click up here. See it's uh, purple, which means it's being edited. Right click up there, activate keys off keys vanished, they're now stored back in your tracks clip, and um, you're done. And this is a really easy way, not just to uh, have multiple animations on the same uh, piece of uh, character, but uh, lots of things like video game editors will look for individual clips uh, to be able to uh, you know, have the wave animation, the grab animation, whatever other animations you want to add. Uh, many video game exporters will look specifically for these clips so that uh, it can keep those different animations separate. So that is our tutorial for now and if you want to experiment with this, uh, create your own clips, uh, I'd really recommend using character sets uh, using the tracks editor. It's a really convenient way to organize your information.